This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I, it's honestly, it trips me out, like, you know, seeing more and more people become YouTubers and stuff. Like, it, it's like, it's surprising every time. Like, there's any time when a friend, you know, talks on, like, creating a YouTube channel or getting into YouTube. It's like a part of me, it's because I'm not going to say I'm like an, an elder when it comes to YouTube, but I have to say I have been on here for some time. So it's always good seeing, you know, new faces uh, on YouTube. But um, no, overall, I feel like the one thing that a lot of YouTubers uh, struggle with, especially like, you know, day one of being a YouTuber is that first YouTube video to upload. What? can be the first video that you can upload onto YouTube. Now, there are so many different types of videos you can upload. You can upload one big mega video. You could do a little small introduction video. You could do a, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. But I feel like a lot of people do struggle with that because I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, back in 2010 when I uploaded my first few YouTube videos, there were like... It would, it was, it's videos that you would expect to like, especially in that time and like, you know, with YouTube, it's videos that you would expect like somebody brand spanking new to YouTube. Like they have no knowledge of how to properly record a video because my gaming videos back then before I had got a capture card, I was doing gaming videos off of my iPod touch, my iPad. Uh, a, um, this camera that I had, it was this, like, I remember I got this digital camera for, um, for my, uh, for Christmas, and I think I still got that camera, it's somewhere in my room, but, no, like, that, that's what I was doing, and it, it's, you know, it's just one of those things where I'm like, I think I said this on a stream, that I'm like, regardless of what I have, I'm gonna make it happen, you know, whether it's, you know, not having top tier equipment for my podcast or not having top tier equipment for my streams or not having top tier equipment for videos, I was gonna make it happen. So yeah, I was like, um, when I uploaded, because I, I have to say there was like two times where I've had like my first day, you know, with YouTube and it was one, it was the original first day of YouTube back in 2010. And then the day where I really started taking YouTube seriously in 2015. So I will be talking on those, um, two events and stuff. And, uh, yeah, you know, overall talking on the first few videos I've uploaded. So starting off with my main channel, t Boss. Bus. So when I had uh, created my YouTube, I was 14. No, I was 13. And then a week from uh, August 3rd, uh, yeah, it was like that was going to be my 14th birthday. So when I started YouTube, it was like, sm it, actually, you know what? No. So I originally had started in July of 2010. I created a YouTube channel in July 2010, but I deleted the email to that. So I had to start all over. And yeah, then that's when I had created my main channel, um, T Moss Boss, and uh, was going by my full government name and stuff. So yeah, I was like, I fam, I you know, it was just one of those things where I'm like, I right, hey, I'm new to this, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, created the channel, and the first few videos that I posted were me playing. I think it was, I think I was playing Madden NFL 07. And I was using, because I don't think at that time I had my iPod Touch and I definitely didn't have an iPad. So I had to use my digital camera. So I was using my digital camera to do those videos. And it's funny because uh, like years later, people always say like, oh, I've been subscribed to you since you had this amount of subscribers. Like there would be people who come to my channel and be like, oh yeah, I've been subscribed to you since you've had 500 subscribers. And that's why I always, I ask people, I'm like, okay, so what were the first few videos I uploaded at that time? Like, because I, I wasn't really deleting videos at that time. 
So I'm like, what were the first few videos I uploaded at that time? And people always go back to the videos of me um, playing with the dog that I had at the time. But I'm like, that those were not my, that was not my first um, YouTube videos, or those wasn't my first few YouTube videos on YouTube. They were, uh, yeah, it was me playing Madden NFL 07. So I deleted those videos. Why I deleted those videos, I really don't know. But gaming was always something that I wanted to do with YouTube. So, uh, but I just didn't know what things I needed to do those videos. And so I didn't know anything about uh, capture cards or any of that other extra stuff. I didn't find out about that until uh, somebody had commented on uh, one of my uh, videos. So I had did this video where I was just getting into a... I, bro, I was uploading some crazy videos back in the day. I was like, I don't know why I decided to do this video. I'm not weird. I'm not crazy. But it was just something that I did. But I had got... I was playing Grand Theft Auto 4 and got into a shootout with the cops. And I was just like, you know, playing... I was recording with one hand and then was uh, playing the game with my other hand. So that's <laughs> that's why I tell why I tell you guys like I'm gonna make a video happen regardless I'm gonna make it happen so anyways uh yeah so I did that um and then I remember somebody commented on that video saying hey if you want to like record uh without the camera and stuff get you a capture card so that was like one of the first few times I heard of a capture card and what a capture card is is a device that helps you record videos better so like if you let's say for an example if you're wanting to record videos off of your xbox but you don't want to use that feature like or xbox or playstation but you don't want to use that feature on there to record like you want to record it directly onto your computer so yeah you're going to need you a capture card some cords plug all that stuff up and then uh yeah you know overall that stuff should be all situated out and you know you can record like that but i wasn't doing that i didn't get a capture card i think until 2015 i think i think that's when i had um got a capture yeah it wasn't until my birthday in 2015 and uh that's when i had got uh yeah got a capture card for my birthday and stuff so but anyways um yeah so i wasn't you know i didn't know anything about that stuff but I, you know, I made it happen, so, anyways, um, but yeah, like, so, the first few videos I uploaded on my main channel was me playing Madden, now, fast forward to 2015, um, so, I had finally made the decision that I wasn't gonna enlist in the military, that was my original plans before becoming a content creator, that, um, yeah, I was gonna either enlist in the Navy or the Air Force, I wanted to do Navy, everybody kept telling me to do Air Force, so I'm like, you know what, in situations like this, where I'm telling myself something, and then I got other people telling me things, and I don't know who and what to listen to, I'm just going to start all over, alright? What can I do to just keep myself busy? Became a content creator. So anyways, um, in April of, I can't remember what day it was, but April 2015, I remember I created my gaming channel. And the first two videos I uploaded on there was me playing Happy Wheels and me playing, uh, well, it wasn't, a, it's not a game, but it's you talking to this, like, robot. So you'll type up some stuff and then the robot will respond to it and things. So those were my first uh, two videos on my gaming channel. Now, how I did those videos. So, and I think if you guys are, like, a longtime follower of me, you probably already know um, of what computer I w that I'm talking on. But anyway, so I had this Dell Inspiron computer, $1,200 um, laptop. You would think $1,200, like, it's crazy. Like, I, I just want to talk on that computer real quick. You would think for $1,200 that that computer is, like, top-tier quality, bro. Like, it had, like, a little touch screen, you know. It was, it was a decent computer, but it had issues, all right? I remember when I very first got that computer, it had this issue where it was just mad slow. And I ended up having to replace. It was some part inside the computer that had to be replaced. So I had to replace that. I had to replace the screen because for some reason the screen was doing this thing where it like if you open it past 90 degrees, a 90 degree angle, screen would just go black. And then it got to a point where it was getting worse. And any time, like, I had to have, like, the screen, like, barely open just to be able to see what I'm doing. And so I'm like, I can't, no, I can't do that, all right? That's that's just a no can do. So, anyways, I'm like, and yeah, on top of that, I'm, like, trying to record YouTube videos. And I can't, I'm having to record YouTube. I should honestly, like, take a picture and post online, like, how 
closed my laptop had to be in order for me to record videos because I'm like I in any situation like that I was dealing with it, it's always something crazy bro it's always something crazy but I still made it happen I still was recording videos and so but no um back so uh like the moments leading up to when I recorded my first two videos so I was scrolling through like a bunch of different programs to use to uh record like myself and then to also record uh stuff off of my um computer so anyways uh and i don't think at that time no at that time i hadn't started reaction videos just yet so i that was like further down you know in the year and stuff but anyways um so i had uh so i downloaded this program um was kind of like you know messing around with that tweaking with that and stuff and, uh, yeah, then eventually I recorded my two, uh, those two videos where I was playing Happy Wheels and then playing, um, uh, that talking robot, it's like, it's like Evie the Bot or something like that, I don't know, but anyways, um, did those videos, and then after that, that's when I found this program called XSplit. Now, XSplit, I wouldn't recommend using that program, um, you very well can go and get you OBS Studio, um, for free, like, in case if you guys are wanting to do gaming videos, like, if you have a good, decent computer, um, then, yeah, but, <clears throat> excuse me, so, if you do have a good, decent computer, and you're able to record all that stuff off of, off, off of one computer, then, yeah, you should be fine with OBS, um, and all that, but, uh, there, if you are planning to stream, like, big, giant games and stuff, um, I, it's just, just get you a good, a good gaming computer and stuff, don't, don't get nothing cheap like how, like, it, well, it wasn't even, the thing was, it, it was like, it was a expensive computer, it was just a cheap, poor, like, put together computer, it's like, you think $1,200, that it would be able to do some stuff, I, fam, like, the only thing that I can do was play old games, like, I can play games on it, but it wasn't at, like, top tier quality, like, if I tried playing, like, on that Dell Instrument, if I had tried playing um, H1Z1 at that time, because I, I got into it in, like, 2014, 2015. So, at that time, like, H1Z1 was blowing up, DayZ was blowing up, all those different games was blowing up. If I had tried playing uh, that game, it was, uh, oh, and then on top, no, I remember when I started doing videos, I was doing videos off of my family computer, so, yeah, bruh, I'm telling y'all, like, I was doing comp I was doing videos on at any given mo um, moment and stuff. Like, I was making it happen. So, anyways, uh, but no, so, um, yeah, uh, that, that so that laptop, what was I saying again? I got myself distracted and stuff, like, remembering things. Like, stuff would just hit me, and I mess around and just get distracted. But, anyways, uh, but no, like, so with that, yeah, Dell Inspiron, that was like, I had to, I could only play old games. If I, I remember I tried playing H1Z1, uh, it would, if I put that stuff, like, on a high quality, like, if I put it on, like, ultra or even high, it just, I, I think even if I played it on low, that game was not equipped for that computer. I'll never, I think I still, I still got that video up till this day where I was playing it and a wolf had, like, scared me in the game, but I didn't realize it until the wolf was, like, up on the, so it, like, jump scared me a little bit, and I'm like, bro what is going so yeah i remember when i had uh um started doing gaming videos i learned so much about um pc gaming and all that stuff so yeah you'll definitely like learn um you know d whatever types of videos that you're wanting to do you'll learn like as the time progresses on like okay this is what i need this this and this and this is what i don't need this this and this and so on and so on and, um, yeah, like, that, that XSplit program, I definitely don't use that XSplit program anymore because that program is just trash. Like, I, I use, I use Streamlabs, so, like, now, currently, what I'm using, uh, is Streamlabs OBS to, like, record gaming videos and all that. And then for reaction videos, um, I use, so it's funny because I remember when I did my first reaction video, I know people ask me about that. Um, so what I did because it was like, it was a still frame video. So all I just need to do is just get that still frame. Because it was a prank call. And so it was, um, it was a prank call video that I was reacting to. And so all I just needed was a still frame of that video. And then that was it. And then as the time progressed on, then that's when I was like, oh, let me try to do like this, like, 
live reaction i don't know necessarily what to call it but like because i see where sometimes when people when they're doing the reaction video they'll edit the video in afterwards and so me i don't really trust those websites where you can download youtube videos so i was like okay to avoid that and then to avoid you know using up so much space and memory on my computer let me just find an easier way of doing it so on xplit and you could also do this on streamlabs um you know obs or OBS Studios, with um, whichever program you want to use, because Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studios is like one and the same. So, uh, like you, but it's more so like Streamlabs is like you know it's more catered to streamers. But regardless, anyways. So um, what I did was like, okay, let me just open up Google, record, screen record that video, and then uh, also like use my web camera. So like you can add all that stuff in. Like they have like scenes. So like how you'll see with like certain streamers, like you could do that same thing just with um, you know Google and all that stuff. So yeah, it's uh, it's you know it's easier that way versus like oh let me you know like because imagine my thing is this. Imagine if you're a streamer, right? And you had to like record your video and then also take this stream and then put all that stuff together. That's doing too much, man. That is doing way too much. I'm like, nah, bro, I, I can't can't do that. Can't do that. That's doing too much. So anyways, yes, fine. It is, it is always okay to find the easiest ways of doing videos because sometimes the easiest ways of doing videos, you're able to put out more content and stuff. So but uh yeah and that being said i should i'm gonna do like more videos giving out advice because there's actually one video where i wanted to or a podcast episode where i wanted to um talk on like the style of my videos and stuff and you know just how to like master that stuff down so but anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening if you're viewing this on youtube make sure you like and subscribe and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 youtube channels follow me on twitter tiktok twitch and instagram at tmos boss and make sure you follow my facebook page at tmos boss fan page also if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code tmosboss it went out 20 dollars off your first purchase and that being said i'll talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace